cut him down. <laughs> Good morning everyone, this is Kid Hero here. Today we're going to be doing a reaction to the new Batman that's expected to come out in 2021. Now Batman's going to be played by Robert Pattinson. I kind of have some mixed feelings with this. I know he's a really good actor. I have a lot of respect for his work. I really don't like Twilight. And I know Twilight was huge. I know it was extremely popular. The movie itself was entertaining, but I really don't care for the story. So that's why I kind of have mixed feelings. I'm a huge fan of Batman, so I, I want this to do well. We will see how it goes. So we are going to check out several different trailers today. One of them is the 2021 Batman first look, and then the DC fandom teasers. Go, let me set this to record. Gotham's gotten worse, man. Way worse. I think he definitely has a good look as far as being able to portray Bruce Wayne. I'm surprised they actually put the F-bomb in there. Like right there, I think that's a good look for Bruce Wayne. There's some other scenes that he kind of looks out of place. I do like the aesthetic look of everything going on. Look of the skyline, Ace Chemicals plan. It's actually kind of a adaptation in between. The art style is kind of very comparative to the old school Batmans, except there's obviously uh, new technology, new graphics, the silhouette of the Batmobile, the reflection of the lights off of the, the floor. It's very stylized. Extraordinary gifts like something out of a comic book. You are a protector. Makes me feel free in a way I've never known. From the rumors that I've heard, this is supposed to be like a Batman Year One. And I have seen the Batman Year One animated uh, movie, which is actually really good. It's actually very, very interesting. I'd recommend. And then of course it says riddle me this, so I'm assuming he's going to be fighting at least the Riddler in this. I'll be really curious to see more of the Batman. Obviously he can sell the portrayal as Bruce Wayne, but people don't go to a Batman movie to see Bruce Wayne. They go to a Batman movie to see Batman. So let's watch the second trailer. The Batman DC... Starting off with the sound of the duct tape was a little strange, but after it showed the build up and showing this guy duct taping the face and then putting the uh, demand to stop more lies, that shot right there is actually pretty epic. If I were at the crime scene and I was a police officer and I saw that, eventually you have to take that duct tape off to identify the body. If you can't get either fingerprints or anything like that, you actually need to see who it is. So to have to do that to someone would be crazy. I'm assuming all these people are looking at Batman because no one's looking at this guy in front, which I'm assuming is Jim Gordon, which is actually very interesting. So the thing I'm trying to wrap my head around is even though the movie was originally portrayed as a Batman year one, it can't be year one specifically yet unless there's like a time lapse because he at least builds a relationship with this guy here, which would be Jim Gordon but obviously no one else has met him yet. So it is following the concept of year one. However, it's not specifically year one, if that makes sense. Like you'd have to do some things to get Jim Gordon to trust you, but everyone else is like, oh my gosh. And just giving these stares and these looks. His uh, suit's very basic. I know this is actually meant to be a battering that's actually built into the chest. Yeah, I'll give that a pass. I, I think that's a pretty decent look. The armor itself kind of reminds me of more of a medieval leather body armor that's stitched together. Of course, with the shoulder spalders to the chest plate, you could kind of see some gaps. I don't know who this guy is supposed to be, if this is the mayor, if this is supposed to be Harvey Dent, or who's this. And of course, we have appearance of Catwoman. I think this fight scene right here sold me this movie because 
I, I had my doubts, and I was kind of curious to see how this goes. And again, for Batman Year One, he, he wants to make change, and he's making adjustments, and obviously, in Batman Year One, he makes some mistakes, but he knows that making the mistakes is extremely bad, so in some aspects, he can be a little excessive, in other aspects, he knows, or he has to kind of rethink the thought of, um, yeah, I, I overdid that, or yeah, this is dangerous for people that I'm trying to protect. Watching this fight sequence right here, gives him a beat down, breaks his arm, knocks him down, makes an example out of the first guy to drive fear into the others. I think the trailer definitely sold me. I will definitely go see this in the movie theater. We'll have to see. I want, I want this to do well. I'm not sure how well it's going to do, but I want this to do well. So, to kind of summarize everything up, I had my doubts in regards to the new Batman coming out as well as pairing this actor with it. I, I didn't have my doubts that he was a bad actor. I think he's a good actor, but whether or not he's the right fit for Batman. After watching those first two trailers, I am a lot more excited to go see it and I will definitely go see it in the movie theaters. That one fight scene was actually, was actually really cool. I'm vengeance. I am vengeance. Him saying I am vengeance, yeah, it does go along the line with the year one. Did he need to say anything? After beating that first guy up, it, it might have been like more scary if he said nothing and just walked at him or just said I'm Batman and then walked at him. He wouldn't even have to yell I'm Batman. I, I don't know. Yeah, it does suit Batman, but he could have, I don't know, I don't know. Put your comments down in the comment section below. For an epic beatdown, what would something Batman could say other than I am vengeance? Tell your friends about me. <laughs> I don't know. Give your thoughts in the comment section. If you're excited to go see this Batman movie, smash the thumbs up. Write down in the comment section if there's other movies in, for either the 2020, 2021 that you're excited to see. Um, I definitely want to go back to the movie theaters. It'll be nice when things get back to normal. I appreciate everyone watching. Everyone have a wonderful week. This is Kid Hero, and I'll see you next time.